Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first video in our house besides the home tour. Um, I'm filming this video over the course of three different days. The first day I'm recording what you're seeing right here is the day we actually had our movers. So um, it's kind of hectic and crazy. That's why I couldn't really do it vlog style because we had different movers in and out of the house as well as people delivering our appliances. So it was just kind of crazy. but. Basically, we're unpacking, organizing the kitchen, and I'm calling this my rough draft because I'm sure I'll move things around like a million times. You're the one who can make it go away. All you have to do is look at me. Sometimes I, I can't breathe. But it feels like you're the one who saves me. So you'll see here I had to adjust the shelves slightly and these Lazy Susans didn't quite fit but you know what we have so much more cabinet space now that I don't really even need the Lazy Susans but I think I'm going to use them in the pantry organization which I'm going to start working on that pretty soon as well. I just wanted to capture the real life moments going on as I was filming. My stepdad was putting the boys' Batman beds together, which I'm so grateful that my mom and my stepdad helped us so much when we moved. Like, I totally couldn't have done it without them because. Evie is in her third leap and she doesn't want to be put down. So luckily my mom was there to hold her and let me get some things done. But now I'm organizing under our sink. I'll give you my everything. It's not much, but it's all I have. And if we could run to a place where we belong But I need you there with me to go on Sometimes I So there's really no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing, um, like kind of just opening up random boxes that I'm finding and putting things away. We didn't like label them like, I don't know, very detailed. I just knew that I was going to wind up unloading the kitchen within the first couple of days because that was like the first priority for us just because we have four kids and we're in our kitchen pretty much all of the time. So yeah, I'm just putting the coffee cups over here because I know I'm going to put my Nespresso in this corner. Um, and we put the cups and stuff nice and close to the dishwasher. We did wind up putting the silverware in the island and um, that's just because we had our silverware in our island in our older house and it's just still close enough to the island and this gave us the opportunity to put all of our coffee, which we have a lot of coffee, you'll see that soon, um, right under the Nespresso. I'm just wiping out some of the dust inside of the shore and we're gonna make this like the kids area over here. I also just want to mention that I still don't even feel like this is real. I can't believe like that we built our dream home and I just can't even explain how incredibly grateful we are because if you guys didn't watch our channel's 
we wouldn't be here today without you and we are just really truly so grateful for each and every one of you you say that i motivate you with my videos but you guys motivate me all the time just by your kind comments and your messages and just all of it i just want you to know that our family our entire family appreciates you so much just for even watching our videos so we could get to where we are today and here's also that reminder that you know just go for your dreams and do what you want and don't care about what other people say i got made fun of so much for starting a youtube channel and i still get made fun of to this day and guess what i'm so happy i've never been happier i am following my dreams regardless of other people's opinions because other people's opinions are literally none of my business. I'm just living my life, the best life that I can. And I just want to encourage all of you to do the same because the people that matter don't mind. So you can see that I'm basically trying to establish like some kind of baking corner over here and I think I did a pretty good job with it. You'll see it all at the end and also give this video a thumbs up if you want to see like a kitchen tour so I can kind of go through and show you where everything wound up staying and like kind of just explain my method to you. Let me know if you want to see that video. But yeah, I basically tried to make a little baking corner over there. You know we love to bake lots of gluten-free treats and things like that. And then right over here, I'm doing my cutting boards. I'm basically trying to put them close to where my um, knife block would be. And then in this clear um, little glass corner shelving, I'm trying to put like my pretty little pasta bowls in there and some wine glasses, which you'll see later. But again, this video is just all over the place because I'm pretty much just unpacking what I can find and going from there. So speaking of those wine glasses, I'm unwrapping all of our wine and champagne glasses and just washing them because they haven't been used in quite some time because I'm pretty much always pregnant or breastfeeding, but I do enjoy a glass of wine here and there. Now the house is really starting to feel like mine now that I got my favorite Aria diffuser set up. You guys know that I don't burn candles, I use essential oils, but I'm obsessed with my Aria diffusers. They're super expensive, but they're like a beautiful piece of home decor that you can have forever and you don't have to buy a million candles. But I love them so much and I just think, you know, they're worth the price, but they are expensive. So I moved them myself, all three of my diffusers, I moved by myself because I was just afraid of them getting broken and then I would be really sad because like I said, they are expensive and they are one of like my favorite things ever. So here's a cute little Amazon find that I found um, for my Berkey. So if you don't know what this big silver thing is next to me, it's a water filter. Um, you know, they were back ordered forever because of just COVID and people not being able to find water bottles. But we still buy water bottles for like on the go. I know it's really bad. We're trying to not buy them as much and just get in the rhythm of just using the Berkey. But that was considered a plant stand and it's on Amazon. It's really inexpensive. Um, if you have a Berkey, let me know and I'll give you the link. I think it was like $19. But now since it's sat up on a pedestal, I can have it in the kitchen, which is just exciting. Plus it's close to the sink, so it's easier to fill. 
And now after I put the utensils away, I'm trying to fit way too many cleaning and drying towels into this drawer. I had to not use all of them and I brought some of them upstairs to use for the upstairs bathrooms and stuff like that. Alright, so now you guys know I at my old house I basically reorganized all of my like pantry items and spices but it made sense because I knew I was just going to move them exactly as they were to the new house so I'm happy that I put like all the spices in here and all my pastas and stuff because I literally just wrapped them up and could put them right into the new house and they're already organized. The funny thing here though is you'll see is I can't close this drawer with all of these spices so then I took the little um, display case out and then I didn't love that so then I realized the second drawer um, was way wider so that's what I wound up doing you'll see here Okay, now this is my favorite part ever because you know I'm obsessed with coffee. It's like the one thing that I spend money on is our coffee. Um, so I have the Nespresso, I have a Keurig, and I have a French press. I even just recently bought a um, coffee grinder on Amazon for like $19 so I could have fresh ground coffee when, you know, when I'm not being too lazy to just pop an espresso pot in or a Keurig K-cup. Uh, these organizers are my favorite from Amazon because you know they can literally go in any drawer in your house and organize your items. So these are all of our Nespresso pods and it's just like every coffee lover's dream come true. Seriously, is this not like the most beautiful sight ever? Also, I want to apologize for my voice. I am really, really tired. It's 11 p.m. the night before I'm uploading, but it's the first chance that I got to, you know, kind of do a voiceover and find music and stuff like that because we did just move like a day ago and I just have been really focusing all of my time on getting the kids adjusted to the new house. I know that can be such a big deal for them. And like I mentioned, Evie's in a leap, so she's been waking up a lot to nurse but I'm trying my best and I hope that you guys are still enjoying this video. Okay, so we know that everybody has a junk drawer, am I right? Like, you all have junk drawers, right? It's not just me. Um, the big, long organizer in there is from Ikea. I got it 100 years ago when we redid our kitchen in the old house. 
and then everything else is from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to go ahead and organize our pencils and pens. I've already decluttered this um, before we even moved, and I just we still have plenty of room in here, but I'm sure it'll be full of junk before we know it. So as I mentioned my exhaustion level lately, I also, I get comments all the time about how much energy I have and I love you guys for saying that, it's so sweet, but I don't have energy, I just kind of force myself to do the things that I need to do. I also have um, hypothyroidism, Hashimoto's hypothyroid disease, which one of the biggest side effects is just like being really tired, but anyway, I'm not complaining, just telling you that I d I'm like you, I don't have this like endless amounts of energy. Four kids will do that to you, plus thyroid dis disease on top of it. So anyway, the whole point of me telling you that is because I was taking a nap and Chris was so sweet to like just unbox things because I told him not to touch anything because I wanted to set the kitchen up, but it was nice of him to just like unbox everything and leave it on the island for me. Okay, we are finally on the last evening of this kitchen um, organization slash unpacking. It's so funny because in my mind I was like, oh, it'll just take one day, like no big deal. Maybe if I didn't have any kids or family or anything else to do with my life, but it did take a long time. And I'm so happy with how everything came out. It just feels nice that like everything has its place. So this is kind of like my strainer drawer. So Chris also put the wine and champagne glasses in there for me because he knew I wanted to move them over to this shelf, but he knew I wanted to do it for my video, but I thought that was sweet of him. So I'm just putting the wine and champagne glasses in here and then going from there. You're stronger, much stronger. So like I mentioned before, I kind of want this to be like my baking corner. So I'm putting my mixing bowls right here. You can see above the oven. I don't remember if I showed that or not. I have um, a bunch more like of the cake pans and stuff that I use for the kids' birthdays. So you know that you're 32 when this lazy Susan that you can put your crock pots and instant pots in just makes your life complete. I was seriously so excited to have my crock pots in the same area and then I put my instant pot on the bottom. Okay, just to make this little coffee area even more next level, I'm putting this really insane amount of Pete's K-Cups in here. You know that we love Pete's coffee. We usually use the grounds for our French press. So I worked with them one time. So since I worked with them, they sent me like a million boxes of K-Cups. I've been giving them to my family and my friends. Um, if anybody wants to come over for coffee, just let me know. I got you covered. Um, we don't normally buy that insane amount of K-Cups, but one day um, we'll get through all these K-Cups. So, so, so over in the other corner of the kitchen, there's another one of those Lazy Susan things. So we have the toaster in there, and now I'm putting our waffle maker in there. Um, just, I guess, it's like the breakfast corner. I'm not really sure. But remember how I mentioned the glass organizers that I use for my pantry? All we do is put them in bubble wrap and now I can organize them perfectly in this little baking area as well. 
Um, I did do my pastas and stuff, but I forgot to show that. But I guess if we do the kitchen tour, you'll see it. Now for another random thing, we're going back to the kids section. Do your kids use these like good to grow cups? My kids are obsessed with them. Um, so I feel like we have like every top, but I'm just using those bins from the Dollar Tree. You might have seen them in my video. I use those bins for the girls Valentine stuff, but that's why I like to do things like that because you can reuse the same bins instead of using like the little heart bin that you'll use one time. So now I'm working like on the Tupperware drawer slash produce saver drawer and I just want to know because moving is like obviously like very exciting and all of that but I just want to know what do you do first and next so basically all we've done so far when you're watching this is the kitchen Every, nothing else is complete like we have you know it's livable in our bedrooms and things like that but the closets are still in boxes, the office everything is still in a box. The playroom is a hot mess because I need to buy organizers from Ikea. But I just kind of feel like I don't really know where to start. We're just kind of winging it. There's no like method to this. So one of the last things I'm doing is our supplements. You know that we take lots of supplements and you know, I just really believe in vitamins and all of that kind of thing. So. I'm putting all of our supplements and proteins and collagen powders and stuff like that up here. I was so excited to finally put out my KitchenAid mixer. I've had this since August. Chris got it for me as a gift for hitting platinum um, with my essential oils team. And I just kept it in the box because I knew we were moving and I wanted to save it for the new house. I gave my mom the silver one that I used to have. So that's in a good home as well. So now to finish this night off, I'm taking all of the plastic and tape off of the new fridge. It really did take like so long. I know it sped up here, but it probably took like at least 40 minutes to get all the plastic and stuff off. I was kind of worried how this fridge was going to look because I don't know if you um, have heard of this, but since the coronavirus hit, I guess a lot of warehouses don't have the refrigerators that they normally have like the same amount because they don't have as many workers. 
Um, so we originally had like the KitchenAid fridge that went with all of the other appliances. And then we got a call that they weren't gonna have it for like another year. So basically this is all um, that we could get that I liked, I should say, and I'm grateful for it because I think it's beautiful. I just didn't really know how it was gonna go in our kitchen. Um, I do want to get pendant lights above the island. We have the setup for it, but I told them to not install any lights because I just didn't really like any of their lights and it's more cost effective if you buy your own. Um, so yeah, I need to buy pendant lights for over the island and I kind of wanted them to match the handles of this fridge and I also eventually want to change out um, the hardware on the cabinets, but again, it's like just like not my priority right now. There's a lot of things to be done in our new house um, as far as like setting up bedrooms and all of that it's all very exciting but it's kind of want to take it slow and enjoy it and do it the way that we want to do it so i hope that you all enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up but also again thank you you're literally looking at my dream kitchen like this is seriously the kitchen of my dreams and it's because of you and I just am so incredibly grateful. I can't say it enough. So thank you for watching my videos because without you, I wouldn't be where I am today. So anyway, don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and let me know what kind of videos you wanna see in the new house.